Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack who's gone to the dogs. Now, let's take a look at our next patient. What seems to be his problem? I think he has flat feet, Dr. Bob. Looks more like a flat tire to me. I think it's a case of three left feet. (laughs) (laughs) Three feet, Dr. Bob. What do you make of that? Oh, about a yard. (laughs) (laughs) But is it serious, Dr. Bob? Let's face it. This bird has one foot in the grave. But he has three feet on the table. Well, that's nothing. I left two feet in Cincinnati. (laughs) That's six feet, Dr. Bob. What do you make of that? Oh, about a fathom. (laughs) (laughs) I certainly can't fathom any of this. And so Dr. Bob has performed another amazing medical feat. Tune in next week when we'll hear Nurse Piggy say... Shall we call in a specialist, Dr. Bob? No, just call a tow truck. (laughs) (laughs) And now, Veterinarian's Hospital. The continuing story of a quack who's gone to the dogs. Uh, Dr. Bob, Dr. Bob, are you ready for the next bear? Why, Nurse Piggy, I couldn't have a beer now. I'm about to operate. No, not beer. Bear. The next patient. Oh. Why, so he is. What seems to be his trouble? He's a little horse. I thought you said he was a bear. That's very funny, Dr. Bob. Yes, it is a little weird. Usually you call a small horse a colt. <laughs> but that's why he's a little horse. He's got a colt in the head. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, in that case, we must try to stabilize his condition. Oh, wow. Well, how do we do that? Put him in the stable. <laughs> oh, but Dr. Bob, hmm. we're supposed to operate. You're right. Hand me the saw. Saw, Dr. Bob? Oh. Dr. Bob, even if he is a horse, should you be using a saw? What's the matter? You never heard of a saw horse? <laughs> <laughs> and so Dr. Bob has turned to carpentry. Tune in next time when you will hear him say... Say, I think this is a bear I'm operating on. Why? Because I'm barely operating. That <laughs> <laughs> was a very cutting remark. <laughs> And now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack who's gone to the dogs. Dr. Bob, what is this man suffering from? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's rumbatism. <laughs> oh, do you come here often? Mm, only to have my appendix out. <laughs> Wow, Dr. Bob, there are dancers in this operating room. What should we do? What else? The Foxtrot. (laughs) (laughs) Dr. Bob, this is an operating room. We've got to be serious now. Why? We've never been serious before. (laughs) (laughs) Are you the doctor? Well, that's what I tell people. Well, would you remove a large growth from my toe? Sure. What is it? Him. Hey, uh, by the way, how come we're dancing in an operating room? Because, although the song will soon be over, the malady lingers on. (laughs) (laughs) And so Dr. Bob has gone to the dance. Tune in next week and hear Miss Piggy say... This sketch is a disaster, Dr. Bob. What should we do? What else? A big finish. (laughs) Now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack gone to the dogs. Uh, Dr. Bob, are you ready for your next patient? Next patient? What happened to the last one? He left for a better doctor. Which doctor? That's right. Oh. <laughs> Which doctor? Which doctor? Oh, here it is, Dr. Bob. Hmm? It's a telephone. What's the matter with it? It isn't working. It isn't working. We'll tell it to get a job so it can pay me. Oh, really? Maybe it's a pay phone. A pay phone. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, Dr. Bob, hmm. do you know anything about repairing telephones? No, but I can look it up in the book. The medical book? No, the telephone book. <laughs> what do you think, Dr. Bob? It must be jaundice. How do you know? Well, look at all these yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bob, Mm. Dr. Bob, do you think the telephone needs an anesthetic? Well, if so, make it a local. Why? Because long distance costs too much. (laughs) (laughs) 
wait, wait a minute. Uh, nurse, nurse, nurse Piggy, do you have the next line? Yes, but I can't say it. How come? The line's busy. <laughs> Dr. Bob, wow, are you ever going to operate? Uh, no, but I know who will. Who? Mm -hmm. The telephone operator. <laughs> <laughs> and so, once again, Dr. Bob is off the hook. You talking to me? Tune in next week when you'll hear Nurse Piggy say... Does the phone remind you of anything? Well, it does ring a bell. Now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack who's gone to the dogs. We want Piggy! 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 We want Piggy. from? Oh, well, she was found with a bunch of cows. Not bunch, herd. Herd of what? Herd of cows. Sure, I've heard of cows. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I mean the cows herd. I don't care if the cows herd. I haven't said anything to be ashamed of. <laughs> <laughs> but Dr. Bob, are you going to operate? No, I think we've milked this joke long enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look, I have a stake in this too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so Dr. Bob has taken the bull by the horns. Tune in next time when you'll hear Miss Piggy say... This has really been a moving experience. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, bless you. Oh, Now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack who's gone to the dogs. Testing one, two, three, four. Oh. oh, here, Dr. Bob, here's your next patient. Oh. Hey, this is just a shoe. What happened to the rest of him? Maybe he got cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see what's wrong with him. Aha! It's an eight and a half triple D. Eight and a half triple D? That's about the size of it. <laughs> What are you going to start on? The shoestring. A lot of people start on a shoestring. What do you think, Dr. Bob? Simple. It's arsenic poisoning. Arsenic? Sure. Just look at this old lace. Arsenic and old lace? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bob, Dr. Bob, that's an old joke. Well, that's an old shoe. Well, that's an old joke. <laughs> Aren't you going to examine the patient? Uh, yes. Hey, shoe, stick out your tongue and say, ah. <laughs> Bob, that tongue has a coat on it. Of course, it's cold outside. How do you know? Oh, the leather outside is frightful. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bob, you're not going to sing a song now, are you? Why not? There's no business like shoe business. <laughs> so, once again, Dr. Bob is barking up the wrong shoe tree. <laughs> Tune in next time when we'll hear Nurse Piggy Nurse Janice and Dr. Bob sing... He'll never walk away. Now, Veterinarian's Hospital. On this special episode, our quack who has gone to the dogs will pay tribute to William Shakespeare. Prithee, nurse, who beeth our next patient? Why, this little piglet, sire. Not piglet, Hamlet. Oh. <laughs> Remember, we're doing Shakespeare here. Well, it sounds more like bacon. Oh. <laughs> Say, this patient needs a transfusion. What's his blood type? Well, I think it's 2B, but I'm not sure. Well, make up your mind. 2B or not 2B. Oh. <laughs> they have no shame. Say, I'm listening to this patient's heart. Zounds. Zounds what? Zounds terrible. No. <laughs> and if Frog wanted Shakespeare, he's getting Shakespeare. But, but you're a doctor first. Right. Doctor first, Richard II, Henry IV. No. <laughs> He thinks we should take our leave. Why? Look at the time. 
Hey, the timing of the shrew. Are you calling me a shrew? If the shrew fits. No. <laughs> so we leave veterinarian's hospital on Avon. Tune in next week when you'll hear Dr. Bob say... Alas, poor pork. I knew thee well. <laughs> Now that really offended me. I'm a student of Shakespeare. Huh? You were a student with Shakespeare. <laughs> Time once again for Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack who has gone to the dogs. Here's the next patient, Dr. Bob. It's a dog. I hope he doesn't have fleas. Why not? I hate to start from scratch. <laughs> what kind of dog is he, Dr. Bob? Ask him what time it is. Why? He might be a watchdog. No. <laughs> of course, he could be a guard dog. You know, I know a woman who was once attacked by her own guard dog. Doberman Pinscher? No, Doberman Bitter. No. <laughs> hey, where did you find him? At the Lost and Hound Department. <laughs> she was a dachshund. Why? I'd like to get a long little doggy. No! <laughs> and so, once again, Dr. Bob has taken the bulldog by the horn. Tune in next week when you'll hear Nurse Piggy say... Dr. Bob, I think the patient is running a fever. Oh, well, go get some mustard. Mustard? That's what you always put on a hot dog. <laughs> And now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack who has gone to the dogs. On to the next patient. What's this? He was here a minute ago. Oh, wow, this is happening a lot lately. What is? And Dr. Bob is losing his patients. <laughs> That's untrue. I never lose my patients. What about the patient you accidentally fed nitroglycerin to? Oh, <laughs> him I lost. <laughs> But I found him again. Where? In Iowa, Minnesota, North and South Dakota. No. That was him all over. Uh. <laughs> so once again, Dr. Bob has come to nothing. Tune in next time when you will hear him say... Hey, who are you? Who? You. You know, the voice we keep hearing in here? I'm the announcer. I'm the guy who says... And now, Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack who has gone to the dog. Well, on to the next patient. What's this? He was here a minute ago. Oh, wow, this is happening a lot lately. What is? Dr. Bob is losing his patients. <laughs> Untrue. I never lose my patients. What about the one you fed nitroglycerin to? Oh, him I lost. Oh. But I found him again. Oh, where? In Maryland, Virginia, North and South Carolina. Oh. That's him it's all over. over. <laughs> and so Dr. Bob has done all the same jokes twice. Tune in next time when you will hear Nurse Janice say... Shall we go for thirds? No, <laughs> no that would try my patience. <laughs> you don't have any patience. No! Oh, I, I would if it weren't for that dumb nitroglycerin. <laughs> and now, Veterinarian's Hospital. The continuing story of a quack who's gone to the dark. Hey, nurse, how's this next patient? Oh, not groovy, Dr. Bob. You better hurry, though. He's slipping fast. Oh, maybe he's got slipping sickness. No, <laughs> no, no, he must have something else. He better have money, for one thing. <laughs> Paid? Right. I don't make a cut till I take my cut. <laughs> <gasps> Dr. Bob, the patient is sinking fast. Oh. He is quick, sinking. Quick, quick, Dr. I Bob. I don't understand it. Quick, Dr. Bob. Quick what? Quick sand. <laughs> I don't understand that either. Mm. Hey, I can't see a thing down here. Give me a hypodermic needle. What for? Just a shot in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 again, we come to the end of Veterinarian's Hospital. Tune in next week when you'll hear Dr. Bob say... Well, at least I won't have to declare this on my income tax. Why not? Uh, I got paid under the table. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I wish they had done that differently. How would you want them to do it? Better. <laughs> and now, Vegetarian's Hospital. The story of a pig-headed quack who's gone hog wild. Here's your next case, Doctor. What? Oh, this is a dish of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> it's all right. They have group insurance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> group insurance? They'd better have grape insurance. <laughs> oh, here's a nice bunch. <laughs> What's the problem here? Well, the corn has a bad ear, mm. the potato has a bad eye, mm -hmm. and the eggplant... Yes? <laughs> the eggplant has a bad yolk. <laughs> Start with the corn. You already have. <laughs> oh, 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 doctor, you mm. really know your vegetables. Well, that's why they pay me a big salary. <laughs> and so, once again, for the first time, we come to the close of Vegetarian's Hospital. Tune in next week when you'll hear Dr. Pig say... And now, let us operate. Let us operate! <laughs>